Hello and what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to show you guys basically how I achieve a blowout on my hair. So I am starting with freshly co-washed hair. I just use a new product so if you guys want to see what that is then um, leave a comment down below. So I'm using some clips, <clears throat> a tail comb, a detangling brush which that is a tangle teaser. I'm using the Texture Ice D Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner, the Curl Essence Moisturizing Oil Cocktail, and the Care Care Thermal Onezer. Y'all know that's my favorite. And this is the Hot Shot Tools um, Paddle Brush Blow Dryer. I got this one from Sally's. It's basically the Revlon one, except just a different manufacturer. The sides are purple and everything. So I just start off by spraying that texture ID leave-in conditioner all over my hair and when I tell you this stuff smells so good it smells like a man and let me tell you something that is good in my book okay and so then I take that oil cocktail by curl essence which I really like both of these products um, and I just distribute that through my hair just to kind of seal in that moisture because we are blow drying so that can be um, drying on the hair so this is just to help seal in that moisture so I'm gonna go ahead and part off my hair and prepare it for blow drying so initially I had blow dried the right side of my head and then I realized <laughs> that this would be a better angle for you guys so I came to the other side but I just start off by spraying that detang or that Care Care Thermal Wonder as a heat protectant. Then I just detangle with the Tangle Teaser brush. You can use any detangling brush that you have. But I really like this brush. Like I didn't even detangle my hair in the shower. And look upon my head, you know. You see that definition? Them girls, girl. So now we're just gonna turn on that blow dryer and basically just blow dry our hair so there's a few things that I like and I dislike about this blow dryer I like the hands-free aspect of the paddle brush that I don't need an extra hand to use a paddle brush and it blow dries my hair really fast I mean really fast I think it took me about 15 minutes but I don't like the fact that it gets really hot which I guess attributes to the fact that it blow dries really fast but my hair sometimes gets too heated with the blow dryer and see that look at that look upon her head what so I just clamp that section away and continue on with my um, front section so like I was saying the only other thing I don't like as well is that the heat kind of disperses in the top part of the blow dryer so um, I feel like if it was all throughout the the paddle part of the brush then it would blow dry your hair like extremely fast and I don't feel like my hair gets that straight but I mean it gets straight enough for me I'm gonna do a twist out on this hair anyway so it really doesn't matter so I just finish off with some of that oil cocktail again just to make sure this hair stays nice and moisturized Okay, and this is pretty much what I'm working with. Okay, like I said, not super straight, but I mean, it gets the job done and it I like literally took me 15 minutes. So I am just going to bed. I'm not doing anything with my hair as of right now. I put on my satin scrunchie and I take it to the house, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Samooches.